charity match 2023. By far the biggest football match of my life. Oh. Oi. Well then. That didn't really go to plan, did it, the match? Sidemen and charity match. 2023. Some absolute positives to come out of the game. Over 60,000 people came to watch, two and a half million live stream viewers, two and a half million pounds raised for charity, which is unbelievable. Like, ab absolutely incredible what they have done for these charities. All of you donating two and a half million pounds, absolutely incredible. A negative, my hip. It did not go to plan, the match. It did not go to plan at all. But I will touch on that in a second. And before we do crack on with this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to FootMob for sponsoring this video because honestly guys, I need you more than ever now. I'm not going to be able to play football. Shout out to FootMob. Obviously you guys all know the app. Download it using my link in the description down below and I'll talk about them later on in the video. The Sidemen Charity Match 2023. By far the biggest football match of my life and probably of everyone else that is playing their life as well. Oh my God, 65,000 people, London Stadium. This is gonna be absolutely insane. And I believe it's the hottest day of the year today. I'll be intrigued to see how that affects things today. But with that being said, let's do this, man. I am so gassed, come on. Heard you got food poisoning, buddy. Oh, is this for your shit vlog? Yeah, <laughs> heard you got food poisoning. <laughs> Is that another stinker incoming for you? I genuinely think I could have food. I, I reckon I could have cancer and I still pop it. Back it. Cancer. Cancer game. Did you just fit? Here he is, Captain Leader Legend of the, uh, the, the enemy side. Score prediction today, Sai. <laughs> Go on, Sai. How many goals you get today, Sai? I think we lose. What? 7-5. Seven, 7-5? Five. Seven, five. I'm also hearing rumours you're trying to do a... Uh, a How did you go now for one minute? Am I? Yeah, you want to skill someone, no? Oh, I want to skill someone. But what is your skill? Rainbow Thick. Yeah, well, no, I can't do it. Rainbow Thick. Max. Max. No, it's me. Max, you're confident, right? Defender. No, I want to do. I'm going to talk to Danny and I'm going to say, look, if I stop the ball and you're there, don't come towards me until I get the ball Okay, back. right. That's called match fixing. So, so, so you want to say that's Danny and then when you do it in the game, Danny's actually in a rugby tackle. He's fine, but let me put it on my head first. Oh, you want to be that guy who runs with the ball on his yeah, head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The penguin? Yeah. I want to get it on my head and then he can do what he wants. Chrissy, ah. you're doing 10Ks in 45 minutes. You're fit as f right now. Right, yeah, let's are you ready for fitness though. Are you, are you ready for 40 degree heat? Um, Good shout. I'm not doing I have actually shot. played in 40 degrees. You can catch it in my video, zero plus 40 degrees. Please uh, watch it because the CPM was great. No. I've got that many views. You're actually such a filthy dog, you know, but I love it. Yeah. 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 Let me go. Wow. I know the whole reason we're here is to. Is it banana? Yeah. <laughs> the whole reason you're here instead of having. This is how you vlog. Hello. Do you know what he. He said I had burger nipples earlier. Oh. They're big though. They are, they're a little out of proportion. You've got burger nipples. The music. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh. The bus isn't even here. Where is the bus? We told you, there's no bus walking. Yo, you look kind of wild from this angle, you know. Kind of wild. <laughs> wild. What, like a wild animal? Arr. Oh. Here we go. He's ready. Oh. Okay, and why does everyone keep doing that to the camera? Check <laughs> back the bus. Fill up from the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're back in the bus gang. Oh, Here we go. Oh, first one's on the bus. Oh. Who wants Theo next to them? Danny, get in his head. Go, already, go home. My name's already started. He's fucking oh, we got killed. Him. He's, no, I didn't. No, I did not. No, I didn't. Oh, at football? No, you know it was really bad. It was a Did he get to our lesson? It's it was really bad. He got bazinga now. Oh, yeah. just like how you tried to bazinga me last year and bounced I mean, off me. I've already told you, I actually felt really horrible. Because I, I was running at you and I thought, what if I actually hurt <laughs> you? So I pulled out. And then, you know, that was the largest I've ever, ever been. Really? So there's no, surpri no surprise you bounced yeah, off me. Man. This year, however, though, you're fit. So are you. I tell you what, by the way, glowing. Here it is, we've arrived at the stadium. Thank you, Thank you mate. 
Oh, yes. I am. Baker, Baker, the booty shaker. That's me. Let's get in there. YouTube all stars. Away dressing room. Plenty of room for activities. Oh, here we go. Oh, the My Protein Sun as well. Use code Baker at checkout. Where are we at? Oh, Max. Come here, boy. Come here. Well, I know two ways. Come on. <laughs> Are you happy with your number ten? Oh yeah. Well, it was never in doubt, you know. Gaffer. Theo Baker. Theo Baker. Theo Baker, thank you. This is a nice easy name. Maybe this one just. Theo Baker. You've got no style. I know. Oh, that's a Theo Baker. He recently completed an Iron Man. The only thing it. Um, I'll, I'll, I just butchered that. That was good. <laughs> it cringed out, wasn't it? I was expected, I, I cringed myself out. <laughs> oh, let's check out the boots today. Got the Mbappes, the new Mbappe ones. Come on. What are you saying on these? Mbappes, are they? Yeah. Wow, I knew straight away. That's very sick. Swish. Swish. Gives you extra speed. Back to 50 on the head, 30 on the body. Speed, round the world, round the world. Oh, Mark, are you confident today, Mark? Um, ask me after the first five minutes. We've got good players like Theo and Chris and Billy and a few others, but as always, a few we don't know anything about. So. <laughs> Here he is, the commentator. Yes. Score Back prediction, in. sir. Uh, I've seen the team. It's your home. It's your home ground as well. Uh, I'm absolutely honoured to be able to be part of it. Obviously, it's going to be ridiculous. Basically, the biggest YouTube event ever. Um, there will be goals. There's plenty of goals. I definitely think you have a very good chance of getting an MOM performance. Oh God. And uh, doing some real damage. I think you've got a great spine. You with Chris and Philly. Yeah. But, they, but then they, they also have Harry, Ethan, Simon, Manny, Toby, athletes. They've got, they've got ability. Both yeah. teams have some weaknesses. No, I think the odds are against you slightly, if I'm being really honest. But never mind, out for your break. The underdogs always prosper. Footage of you being rubbed down, yeah? <laughs> Take over. Take, take over. What are you saying? <laughs> this is it. Heading out now for the warm up. Round it's me and you go first, man. Oh, this is kind of cold, you know. Oh my god. What the fuck? Alright, this is nuts. What the hell? Ethan! You made it, man! Come on, man! You've done it! Yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, here we go, the first step on the turf! Go on, Ethan! Oh, yes! Yeah, it's coming in. You started your oh, whip, yeah? Oh, it's not that hot. I thought it was going to be hotter. What oh, are you talking about? Yeah, but we were in the shade just then. It's yeah. really hot when you're not in the shade. Mate, it's like Astro, innit? This is a small pitch. Like, oh, well, why don't you come even Okay. Well, no, this is actually yeah, weird as well. But also, this is by far the best looking pitch I have ever played on in my life. It's like we're playing on Astro. This is absolutely insane. Right, time to get warmed up.
Oh. Nice, well done. Oh, this is, oh. Oh, not taking the mick out of the small man. Oh, Danny, teammates, teammates. Te yes. How are you feeling? Yeah, I've underpaid. Feeling um, cohesion in the union. Right, well, well done, he's Canadian. Got it. Oh, he's off free kicks. He's off free kicks. You're not. Like that. Either either there or like here. Like that or like that. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it's gone under the wall. Under the wall. Go, Will. Oh, yeah. Oh, William Lenny. Warm up is done. Time to head in. And now it is game time, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. 65,000 people. London Stadium. Simon FC versus YouTube All Stars. Here we go. Come on. Midfield three will be Chris MD, Philly, and uh, Theo. We're going to be hot out there and we're going to make a lot of changes. If you get tired, let us know. Teamwork is what is going to make the dream work. We were fantastic. We won more hearts last year than them. We won more hearts than a puppy on Christmas Eve looking for a home. I don't want to be Spurs. I want to be Real Madrid. I don't want to yes. win hearts. I want to win trophies. Yes. That's what I want to do. This is about determination, yep. it's about teamwork, and the only thing that can defeat us is fear. And what have you got to be scared of? Look around, you're all on the same team. Fear will be the defeat of this team. Does fear exist in this dressing no! room? We are Cobra Kai FC. I've just been handed Whoa. the biggest honour of all. This is it. I'm a captain. I'm a captain. I'm a captain. Come on. If anyone's going to lead us, it's going to lead us into battle. Into battle. Come on. Here we are then, we're going to be reacting to the first like 30 minutes up until my injury and then over on the second channel we're going to be reacting to the entire match because I obviously didn't see the rest of the match, did I? Kicking things off with the Sidemen FC lineup. There are four players that instantly stood out for us before, prior to the match, okay? Mark Goldbridge picked out four players, Simon, Ethan, Toby and Harry. Ethan especially, we knew he's very, very fit, he's going to be a menace in midfield. Harry at the back is always difficult and we all know the talents of Toby and Simon. YouTube All-Stars then, and I will say this, what an honour. Captaining the YouTube All-Stars at the London Stadium in front of almost 70,000 people, it doesn't get better than this. That was just incredible for us we had the three, me, Philly and Chris, and that was the key to winning the game. Didn't really go to plan. Honestly, walking out on that pitch with the fire, the TIFOs in the air, I was just trying to take it in as much as I can. It is such a rare feeling to have. Think about it, like 65,000 people, professional footballers, players that get into the playoff final, such a few amount of people get to experience that. And that is something I will never forget. That is honestly one of the most incredible moments of my life. And obviously thank you lot watching our videos. Thank you so much for putting us in these positions. And here it is then, kick off. As you saw there, a little stretch from me. Um, obviously I was a little bit nervous coming into this game with my hip, but I knew that after a whole year of rehab, I, my hip was strong enough to be able to handle a game like this. Uh, inevitably, it wasn't Philly in the first minute playing into me a little step over and honestly I got the ball and I was like oh my god I feel really really good take it back off a little one two from Kaisenat take it past Laser now Nico is in the box here but oh I should have scored 
Oh, I should have scored. Honestly, that would have been like the fastest goal in Sidemen history, Sidemen match history. Should I have played it to Nico there? I don't think I should. Actually, it was like a foot wide, very, very close. That is my one regret from the whole game. Well, one of my... Maybe one of two regrets for the whole game was not putting that in the back of the net. Now, honestly, in the first like five minutes or so, I really felt we were well on top and a goal was coming. Inevitably, a goal did come. However, as you can tell, it, were, it was quite offside. It would have been a left-footed assist from myself. And so, do you know what? It's a great finish from Kai there. He obviously doesn't know the offside rule. First time playing football, I'm guessing. But a uh, great finish, good assist, except for the fact he was about 10 metres offside. It's basically speed round two from last year. When I played speed in, he scored offside. And uh, it, it, it happened again. There you go. About 10 metres offside. But nonetheless, things were looking good for the YouTube All-Stars five minutes in. However, just a few moments later, Ethan picks the ball up, gives it to Joshi Jerka, back into Ethan. Attack by Max Bosch. Gideon then goes to pick the ball up. Mark Kattenberg plays a great advantage. And Ethan puts the ball in the back of the net. Honestly, going 1-0 down, I wasn't even sad. I could not be happier for Ethan. Captain on the other side, scoring, shirt off, West Ham fan, doing it at your home ground, it doesn't get better than that. Honestly, that was absolutely incredible moment, especially to witness. Like, I can't even imagine how Ethan was feeling after that. As I said, I don't think anyone on our side was even disappointed to go 1-0 down to Ethan scoring at his home ground. Genuinely, what a moment. Very well taken goal from Ethan there. Could not be happier for him. Gideon, however, what, what were you doing? One thing I did notice this year, by the way, Speed was telling us before, he's been having a, having a few training sessions, and look at this, knocking it past. Is that Mr. Beast there? Wait, he's really improved since last year. He's absolute pacey merchant. But, uh, yeah, not much end product, unfortunately. However, he has definitely improved. Great tackle there by Chris. Play it back into Chris. Chris can feed into Nico. Can he finish? No, it's actually a really good block from Cal Freezy there. As I said, we're going to go through the whole game over on the second channel, so make sure you watch that video. So this game is specifically focusing on myself. As speed plays a great through ball down to the right-hand side. I'm one-on-one -on -one with Harry. I didn't really know what to do here, but it's quite hard getting past Harry, so try a few little, you know, a few little step over. What, what are you going to do, Harry? No, don't really do much. Get past him. Try to get across and falls to Chris. Can he find someone else? He gets a corner. So as you can tell, like YouTube All-Stars are definitely on top in this first 10 to 15 minutes. But we find ourselves 1-0 down. Philly, once again, in possession of the ball for the All-Stars. It very much was, in the opening few minutes, Philly controlling possession of the play. Great through ball up to Chris. And Chris MD take a bow. Going through, laser beam and cow. Pass Harry and the composure to finish. What a moment for Chris, man. I was so happy for him. That is just quintessential Chris MD. Like at, at five aside, he just wriggles through opponents. He's short, but my word, he is good. That goal was absolutely sensational. Well done, Chris. And there we are, a well-deserved leveller, I would say. And uh, what a man to do it, Chris MD. Take a bow as he <laughs> as he kisses the YouTube All Stars badge after playing for the side men last year. 22 minutes in, then chunks over a free kick, and one of the, the few times I head the ball. Oh, you know what? It weren't, oh it, was, oh, it was quite far away from me. That's two chances. I probably should have at least got it on target. Oh, maybe, maybe I push in the back. I call a penalty, I say. Two shots from me then, and none on target. Oh, it's, yeah, hmm. Maybe I'm being harsh on myself. What do you guys think? I'd say this moment was quintessential Goldbridge ball right here. Wheel up into Chris. I flick it on. No one quite is able to get hold of the ball. Nico's trying to win the ball off. Tariq, I think it is. He wins the ball. He plays it into me. I've got Manny on my back. Plays it out to Chunks. He managed to hold the ball up nicely. Who can he find? Nice bit of footwork there from Chunks. Plays it into Philly. Philly with his head up. Cuts back inside. All starts play some good football in times, you know. Chris can play it out wide. And now I'm one-on-one -on -one with Cal Frazee. Can I take it past him? Have I still got the pace? Of course I do. I get it past him. Look to play the ball in to speed in the box. But I believe that was Angry Ginge. You had a really good game, by the way, coming in with the, with the block, and we won a corner. And I'd say this is the moment it all went wrong. Philly here tries to find Speed. Harry misses the flick, and Speed is in here. If Speed just sprints with the ball, if he just shoots, then none of this would happen. Oh, it comes back to Baker. He goes for the shot, and his, his hip gives way. 
Now, I can't lie, this was absolutely horrific. Looking back at it, I probably had time to take a touch, or I could have left for chunks to hit it. I definitely would have had time to take a touch, put it on my right foot. But when the ball comes to you like that, you've got to go for it. But oh my God, the pain was just excruciating. It was so bad, I was so devastated as well. Like I was just, I was, it was actually really bad. I basically felt these like three pops in my hip. Thank you to like Chris and Lux and Simon and JJ and everyone who was just around me. Like I, even though I wasn't replying, I could, I could hear them just like trying to calm me down but every, there was so much going through my head at the time a the pain was just so bad b i've spent a year getting back to the point where i can play in this match and play football and here i am on the floor crying in front of 60,000 people it was bad as i was getting stretched off i could i could hear the crowd chanting which was very very heartwarming and nice but i was just so devastated it wasn't even just the pain i spent so long getting back to this point and for it to just happen on the first game back I want to say thank you to all the paramedics as well who were really kind. Coach Richard, you were an absolute hero in the in the uh, injury room. I don't even know where I was, but it's because I was on a lot of gas and air. Yeah, have you had that before? Have you had that before? No, but I had a step on mate's arm and he was on like, it's, 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 it's really, it's really good. Leo, did you just say I snapped my mate's arm? <laughs> there you go. Does that make you feel like high? Does that make you feel like high? Double double dates. No, I know what you want. Double double Yeah, I got your I got it. I got it. <laughs> Long story short, I had an x-ray. X-ray seems to be okay, which to be honest, I thought it would come up okay because it didn't feel like anything to do with my joint at all. It felt purely just in my hip flexor. I'm speaking to a consultant this week and getting my MRI booked in, so I don't actually have the news. It feels like my hip flexor that has either torn or popped. I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. It's heartbreaking, man. It's, that, it's actually heartbreaking. Like I was just getting back. I was playing football, I was making videos, and now I've got to go back to square one. I'm going to be honest, it's, it's a shit feeling. The amount support I've had is very overwhelming like the amount of support is just truly incredible so many people have got in contact with me that I never would have thought I've gone that would get in contact with me over this so yeah thank you to everyone who looked after me on the day and I will have an update over the next few days I will be back next year and I will be playing and I'm, go I'm determined to get through this you know it's gonna be rough don't get me wrong I don't really know what else to say to be honest like just very disappointed I feel like I was having a good game as well. Like, I feel like I was having a good game. I mean, I got a 7.6 rating on FootMob last year. This year, prior to my injury, I was on a 5.7. So look, you can say maybe I wasn't playing that great, but I felt like I was, I was feeling fast. I was feeling fit. I was feeling good. I was ready for this match and just to have it taken away from me like that from one kick. Oh, it was so shit. I have to say thank you to FOTMOB for sponsoring this video, like for supporting me in this, like they are absolute legends. If you don't know what FOTMOB is, it's a football app where you get live updates, live scores, all the stats from all the games across the world. As I said, they covered the Simon Chatty match, which is so, so interesting. Simon with a 9.0 rating, Chris with a 9.0 rating. Manny came away with a 9.7 after scoring a hat trick. Right, let's have a quick look at my own performance individually on FOTMOB. 36 minutes played, right, obviously getting dropped. 100% pass accuracy, which is pretty good. It was only four passes. 0% shot accuracy. Not ideal. The expected goal, the XG from the shot that ruined my hit was uh, 0.04. So look, I wasn't expecting to score from that, but I probably should have got it on target. The one in the first minute was a 0.13. Yeah, I feel like I should have scored, at least got it on target. Uh, dribble pass one, which was all right. Uh, aerial duels one was also one out of 100%. As I said before, thank you so much to FootMob for sponsoring this video. I'm unable to play football for the foreseeable future, so yeah, thank you once again, FootMob, for sponsoring it. Make sure you download the app using the link in the description down below for all things football, score updates, score stats, football match information, lineups, etc. It's all in there, all in the app. Use the link in the description down below to download it. And as I said, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be hard. It's gonna be a long road ahead of me but I will get there. And the Sideman Charity Match 2024, I will be there and I will not be leaving on a stretcher. Next year, I will be leaving holding the trophy for the YouTube Stars. Thank you so much for the support and I will be back. See you soon.